515 is now the time. We're going to take a look at the tropics real quick. Marco has fizzled. That's good news for the Gulf Coast. You can see there basically nothing, uh, just some remnant rains pushing into parts of uh, You've got Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Georgia, uh, so they're just getting some of that remnant rain. Laura is the big threat, though, as it is expected to become a Category 2 hurricane a little bit later on this afternoon as it moves into the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. The temperatures in the Gulf are about like 85 degrees, so that is fuel for the fire. Unfortunately, it is going to turn into a Category 2 and sweep. Oh, right. Look at this. This is brand new. Three. Category 3 now projected estimations. I said earlier in the show that we did have the potential for this to become a Category 3, and now that's what the National Hurricane Center is uh, thinking as well. Three, unbelievable. So this is going to be a menacing force for the Gulf Coast, uh, especially Louisiana, right along the Texas-Louisiana border. This is by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Keep a good thought for those folks. It's still a tropical storm. The impacts on Connecticut will be uh, just some remnant rain by Saturday as the moisture gets dragged up into a storm system that we're going to be dealing with on Saturday. In the meantime, uh, enjoy a nice quiet start out there. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Not going to be a beautiful day. Uh, patchy fog, but you are good to go with mostly clear skies. We've got our Middletown ICAM looking pretty good. As you can see, the traffic's moving along nicely on Route 9. And as we take you out right now, we'll show you some more ICAMs in uh, Hartford. You can see there everything is looking pretty good in Hartford with good visibility. So warm and humid to start. Temperatures today will top out in the low 90s after starting off in the upper 60s and low 70s. It is 77 degrees in New Haven at 6, uh, 515 in the morning. 77 degrees. The typical overnight low is about 60. So we're about 17 degrees above that. Ridiculous. Dew points are a little bit better than where they were yesterday, but it's still going to be a hazy, hot, and humid day with dew points climbing into the low 70s once again. But we, it's a little bit better this morning, but it's still quite muggy out there. Don't get me wrong. Isolated showers and thunderstorms are expected. Here comes the fruit stripe gum map. Level 1, marginal. Level 2, slight. Level 3, enhanced. Enhanced is the worst, but we're, yeah, we're up there. Whenever we see slight, Typically, we get those uh, strong storms that make their way through the state, kind of like yesterday. And yesterday, we were only in the marginal risk category. Today, we are in the slight risk category, so that's one level higher. All right, so as we move it through the day today, temperatures will top out. Again, close to that 90 degree mark by 2, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Here come those shower and thunderstorm icons by noontime today. More of the same for the shoreline. Temperatures will be a degree or two cooler, but not by much. It's going to be another warm, sticky and uh, sticky day for the shoreline with shower and thunderstorm icons anytime after noontime today. So let's run ahead here and show you tomorrow is a much better day. That's something to look forward to. In the meantime, a little trouble over my shoulder. This is a cold front that's bearing down on us, providing showers and thunderstorms to upstate New York. That is marching in our direction and it will be here for us throughout the afternoon today. So keep your eyes to the skies if they look threatening head indoors. This is what's left of Marco and then you've got Laura way down to the south. All right, so let's take a look at future cast tomorrow's weather today. This kind of fizzles as it moves towards Connecticut. So we're just going to keep a close eye on that and see if that materializes. Then another batch of showers and thunderstorms rolls in. Throughout the afternoon, we dot the landscape with these greens, yellows, and oranges, and reds. And then tonight, we clear things out. Daytime highs today climb into the upper 80s and low 90s. Your seven-day forecast includes a beautiful day tomorrow. And then back to uh, warmer weather Thursday and Friday with a chance for isolation showers and thunderstorms. Thursday could be a rough day too with thunderstorms rolling on in. Saturday, the remnant moisture from Laura catches up with another storm system. That'll bring us some rain and cooler temperatures for Sunday, 79 degrees. Sunday is definitely the better of the two weekend days at this point.